Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Gina. So today's a little bit different. You know, I've never done one of these. This is gonna be a monthly favorite. Let's go, girls. So you know, I've never done not even a yearly favorites. Yeah, I don't think so. And if I did, it was when I first started YouTube and stuff, but you know, it's just about all of the newest, or not newest, the most recent products that, you know, I've been currently using a lot and, and loving. You know, as you can see, I have this beauty room and I have tons of makeup. So I shop my stash a lot, buy new items, and you know, I just, um, yeah, I always try new products, okay? <laughs> so today I'm gonna be sharing with you all of my favorites. Don't forget to subscribe if you like these kinds of videos. Let's go ahead and get right into my favorites. All right, so we're gonna start with the first item, which is toner. If you have not tried anything from Pretty Skin, the toner is the one to get. This one is the Pure Jujusica 100 Toner. Um, so this one I purchased at Marshalls. You can find them at TJ Maxx as well. Uh, for fairly inexpensive. I think I paid like $6.99, I want to say. So yes, I do have my backup ready to bust open when this is done. As you can see, I'm halfway done with this. It leaves your skin very um, hydrated, soft. It's really refreshing, very naturally scented and um, <laughs> whenever I put this on versus not putting anything on, just let's say I'm going to stay in and I, I just, I feel that much more cleaner, like my face, especially like the edges around my ear when I wake up, you know what I mean? I feel that my face is so much more cleaner when I use this. If you are not finding the right toner for you, I know you're probably gonna love this. If you spot it at Marshalls or TJ Maxx, definitely pick it up. Just trust me, you'll love it. Okay, so next is some primers. I do have a face primer and an eyelid primer. So the first is the face primer. I do love the e.l.f. Putty Poreless Liquid Primer. Now remember, they do have this one in a pot form, which I love that too, by the way. Um, but this one, I think I'm like halfway done with this one too. This one is so, so good, you guys. It's kind, it's milky. You see that milky and chalky at the same time, you know? It's a little bit runny, but man, this is just so, so nice. It absorbs into the skin really, really good. I like to pat it right underneath my eyes where all the fine lines are. And I do find that it reduces the fine lines and stuff by like 50%. You know what I mean? But you have to tap it in. I also tap it in my T-zone really, really well. And it does make a difference in like refining your pores and stuff, you know? And you know, whenever I put that on and I use other skin products like my creams, my eye creams and stuff like that, that does not clash with that. Cause you know how you can find some primers that when you mix it after your lotions, they ball up in little bitty balls. You know what I mean? This one does not do that. Toner and face primer done. Now the other one that I was talking about, this is the neutral eye base primer in classic vanilla from Beauty Creations. You can finally, finally pick this up in your local drugstore. It used to be, I think, specifically online um, when it was like a smaller company, you know? But yeah, ever since they are selling it here at my local drugstore, I have been loving just the brand in general. Everything is pretty, pretty good, except for the lipsticks. I find that they're too drying, um, but I still gotta mess with that. Maybe I need to put gloss underneath or whatever. Anyways, I'm going off topic. Let me go back to this primer. Okay, what about this primer that's so, so good? The price is great. I think it's like four or $5. The color range, I've never seen an eyeshadow primer with multiple amounts of shade ranges. Usually it's three of them, you know, light, medium, dark. But this one uh, comes with a lot of different uh, shades. I love that. The one that I got more to my skin tone, it's gonna camouflage a lot of like your, your 
discoloration on your eyelid, kind of like what a concealer will do. So you don't necessarily have to put concealer on your eyes if you know you're going to go in with the shadow primer before your eyeshadow, you know, because it does provide a good amount of coverage. Here, I want to show you how it Look how much coverage, and yes, a little goes a long way. I I just been loving it. So now on to foundation. So I've been loving this one from, hey, a lot of these products are from Amazon. I didn't even realize it. But yeah, I've been using this. I took it back out because I've had it. This is the Focalore, that full coverage matte foundation. It has a pump. It's a glass bottle, by the way. Um, very luxe feeling. You may have heard of this brand. It's a pretty thick consistency. I love the fact that it's more like a, of an olive uh, neutral undertone. So let's see. The coverage is great. It, it's thick. It's kind of like moussey thick. You see that? Definitely not runny. It's like a solid medium to buildable coverage. Um, here, let me show you how it looks a little bit more blended. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So, yeah, that's what I'm wearing today. A few of these products I'm wearing today. But look how beautiful. Look how flawless. It just, I don't know, definitely have been loving it. It's like a natural finish. Very lightweight. Yeah, like right now I can't even tell I have foundation on okay so if you use an under eye corrector so far i've been loving this one i have showed it on a few of my videos here on youtube on my get ready with me's and this is the skin food salmon dark circle concealer cream there's only three shades by the way what shade is this one in i don't know it doesn't even say it on the package hmm this is definitely not drying. As you can see, it has like a sheen to it. I don't, it's just really, really nice. Right now it's melting. You know what it reminds me of? The, uh, the Benefit Erase Paste consistency. Look how pretty. So if I hold it from here, look how it, it has like a nice sheen to it. It definitely has that pinky salmon tone. It's not too overwhelming. I think this is the darkest shade that they have. They even have a lighter one, but that would be too, too light, I think. Um, so, uh, like I said, I will link this and as much of these products as I can find down below. Very, very nice. It's hydrating under the eyes. I just love it. I keep saying love. All these products are my monthly favorites. Anyways, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna try not to say that anymore. <laughs> Okay, since we're still on the face topic, I have, let me see, one, two, three, four products for the face. The first one I'm definitely wanting to show you, this one acts like a bronzer for me. This one is the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Powder. This one's in the shade 725 Buff Beige. Okay, yes, it is a face powder, right? A foundation powder. It is so good for bronzer. I love how cool tone it is. It's not too uh, red undertone, orange undertone. And it's what I have on today. It is such a nice formula uh, product, powder product. So, so nice. So, so weightless. So I just get a large powder face brush or even like the one I used today was this one. Which one is this one? This is like a no-name brand one. Oh no, I'm lying. Uh, JLB powder brush. I got this in a trio I think at Burlington. Anyways, so I just get this and I swirl it like that, tap off the excess and then it is just so nice. It makes it airbrushed that's how i can describe it if all you have to do is get a couple shades darker than your skin tone and there you go you got a bronzer 
I'm kind of all over the place. I'm going to backtrack it to translucent powder. So I've been loving these. One of them I've been using for setting under the eyes. The other one I've been using for touch-ups throughout the day. So the one that I've been using for after I put my concealer, I use this one from Wet n Wild to set underneath my eyes. So this is a 5-in-1 Essence Primer and Finish Powder. I absolutely love it. Now for this one, I definitely go in with more of like a tapered brush like this. And then I just grab it, tap off some of the excess. You can see the powders on there, but it definitely goes on translucent. You're not going to see it. You see how it made it more like airbrushed? That's how I can describe it. It's like an airbrushed finishing powder look at that it just kind of erased some of my fine lines you know <laughs> it uh disguised them they only have this one there's no other shades or nothing like that excellent thin formula this one i've been loving as well so throughout the day like on my lunch break or just regular breaks i'll put some of this on with again an all over buffing brush and it mattifies your skin let's say you get oily and you just want that revamp to your skin you know what i mean this is definitely one i've been reaching for and it's it's a great one so this is the hard candy stay and slay translucent setting powder see helps reduce transfer of makeup this is in 2292 i think there's a couple shades only a couple though you can see i've used it a lot for sure there's the product it's just nice and lightweight like it's airy that's how i can describe it it's very lightweight airy and it definitely tones down the oils on the face that's what i really like this for and it's real sheer too then let's move on i don't have a oh my gosh i was gonna almost skip concealer let's go back to that so for concealer i've been loving these two and i actually mix them together and i love it when i mix it together it is beautiful it's i don't know lately i've been looking for more uh lightweight kind of um finish like a lightweight concealer okay i don't want a full, you know sometimes i do want full coverage i'm not gonna lie sometimes i love the elf 16 hour wear camo concealer for some looks and stuff occasions but for just the day-to-day -day wear and even for coverage just whatever this is fantastic so the first one is the physician's formula butter glow concealer this one is in the shade light to medium and then this one is an amazon find by the brand lamel this is the hashtag oh my clear complexion concealer so good both concealers have little tops with the little sponges like that um, so we're going to start off with the Physician's Formula. These are very cooling products. They're not heavy whatsoever. They blend so easily. Um, it is somewhat buildable, but it's a good medium coverage. I don't think it'll be a full, full coverage because I would consider a full coverage like the e.l.f. camo concealer. You know what I mean? This one is not like that. It's more of a natural medium to full coverage so um, it's very cooling on the eyes it doesn't dry out your under eyes at all very creamy very lightweight thin look at that oh my gosh here's the doe foot on the physician's formula and then the lamel this one you can get on amazon in the shade 403 So there is that one right there. So yeah, I mix these two. To me, these both are pretty similar in a way, but they're very nice when I mix them together. You see how they both have that sheen, that natural sheen to it. I just love mixing them. Let me see. Look at that. Nice, good coverage, but yet it has that sheen. You see what I'm saying? Very lightweight. I don't feel I have anything under my eyes right now so those two are, are what i'm wearing today i just love it oh my gosh okay enough of that i can go on and on about those concealers i'm telling you okay another liquid product is physician's formula diamond filler 
mineral wear cheek and lip color okay so this one i bought it is new to the line and you know what it reminds me of the rare beauty liquid blushers yeah that's what it reminds me of it goes on very easily you can mix it very easily it's not overly pigmented this one's in the shade uh brilliant peach um yeah it reminds me so much of the rare beauty look at that look at the color it's so beautiful yeah it's so it doesn't dry out easily it won't set so fast look at that and it is buildable when you blend it out it is absolutely stunning on the cheeks yeah, to me all skin tones can wear these colors i think they only have like four shades in the drugstore they may have more online but yeah totally totally a rare beauty blush dupe for sure you know i always go to the store and every time i look at this i always would pass it and then i'm like well, what new products are there or what products have I not tried and you know I actually bought it I finally bought it so this is the revolution powder highlighter this one's in the shade dare to divulge it is a baked formula and yes you guys it's beautiful look at that oh my gosh here Let's put it right here. Check that out. It looks like a wet formula. You know what I mean? Definitely lightweight. I cannot even feel anything on my skin. It's so beautiful. And it's, of course, what I have on my face today. And yeah, I love it. Great for mature skin as well. So... You can use it on the eyes like an eye gloss, the inner corner, which is what I did also. Oh, so don't pass this. Definitely back up and go get this product when you're at the store. Okay, so now we're moving on to brows. So for brows, I definitely totally have been using this, totally been loving it. I took it out of my stash and this is the Rimmel London Eyebrow Pencil. I have one in the shade 001 and 002 hazel. The 001 is dark brown. Yeah, I like this because it's so easy to use. And yes, it's sharpenable, right? The product is a sharpenable pencil. But you can definitely um, uh, do brow strokes so easily. It's a non-waxy formula. It is kind of like, to me, it's like waterproof. It's not waxy. Great for oily skin. I just think this is overall a great, easy to use formula, which is hard to find in a brow product. You know what I mean? So I definitely recommend this. I've been loving it so much. Okay, to top that off, I took this back out. Um, I forgot I had this. I took it back out and yeah, I've been loving it as well. So this is the NYX, the brow glue. And yeah, if you want your brows more like of a, not necessarily laminated, but if you want it to be very wispy, like your brows, you can go in the opposite direction and it'll like stay put. Definitely buy this one. You would really, really love it. The spoolie's real tiny. It reminds me of super glue for the brows. That's what it reminds me of. Great product, yeah, great product. It doesn't flake on the eyebrows. A couple more products, not too many left. Uh, for eyeliner, I've been using two of them. I love waterproof dark eyeliners. I try to find the best out there, right? So these are probably like my top rated brow pencils, but I took these back out again. I do, um, it's hard for me to stray away from eyeliner products that I absolutely love, you know, to try other products. So not only have I been taking them out this past month, but I think that they're the best out there like one of the best okay so the first one is the crop eyeliner you can find this at tj maxx and marshall's for $3.99 yes it's a sharpenable one but it lasts a long time i get the brown and the black by the way but very dark colors look at that non-waxy formula 
it stays in the waterline for so so long and then this one too but this one's a retractable this is the rimmel london waterproof eye definer this is the exaggerate line of rimmel it's so so black and it's like a matte it's more on the matte side than on the glossy side formula and then i love the fact that it has this at the end i love to use this to smoke out my eyes like for the bottom lash line especially but yeah look at those colors black brown crop rimmel <laughs> it is so worth it i have been loving these so so much longer than the month by the way um so lately i've been loving two lip products this duo right here this one is a retractable lip liner from believe beauty Ooh. Long lasting lip liner. You can find these at the Dollar General. They're only exclusively sold at the Dollar General. This color is so, so nice. It's what I have on today. It's, it's really, uh, it stays put for being a little bit of a soft formula. You know what I mean? But very, very pretty though. It's very long lasting. Let's put it that way. So this is the shade barely there. And let me swatch it for you. There it is. It's beautiful, right? Like I said, it's what I have on my lips today. Yeah, if you want a good nude with a hint of a blush kind of tone nude, definitely pick this one up. It is really nice. I've been loving it so much. And then from the Dollar Tree, I've been loving this LA Colors in the shade Natural Shine, okay? It's so good. It's just an all around natural formula formula natural shade look at that um sometimes it'll go on a little bit thick looking so definitely use your finger to uh maybe like dab it on or if you do put it on too much maybe blot with a um tissue or something like that or if not get it with your finger and then tap it on your lips uh but beautiful shade right go pick you up one at the Dollar Tree. I love it. A lot of their LA color products at the Dollar Tree are so good. They have like a nice vanilla fragrance too, by the way. Okay, so for mascara, I have been using this Maybelline the Falsies Surreal Mascara. Okay, look at it. You know, this has multiple, um, not levels, but uh, lengths of fiber uh, fibers in it like fiber infused it's a natural bristle wand I I've been loving it so much since I bought it uh, I stopped using it for like two weeks and I took it back out again this past month and uh, it's neat it's very buildable too so if you put your first layer wait a little bit but don't wait till it dries fully though like wait till it's like a three-quarter dry you know then add some more then it'll elongate that lash yeah so i find this is really really nice for the bottom lash line too if you want like extra long i didn't use it today by the way i used the elf one this one uh but yeah this one's so so nice okay last but not least i've been loving this i do have it on today in my eyes this is from amazon this is by the brand lamora the attraction palette it's supposed to be like a dupe for the, I think it's called Soft Glam Huda Beauty Palette. Look at this. Let me swatch it. This is very easy to use. I'm swatching the uh, shimmers first. Look at that. And that beautiful. Oh my gosh yeah very lightweight there's no fallout whatsoever and then let's do some of the shimmer ones oh my gosh yes you guys look at the matte ones yeah again it's what i have in my eyes today and i've been loving it it's very easy to use you know what i mean so i just if ever I'm in doubt, like, what should I wear? And I want a nice little daytime sultry. And you can go deeper with it and get a nighttime sultry look and smoky look. Um, yeah, I definitely reach for this one. Yeah. It's so affordable. Again, on Amazon. 
I'll link the product below <laughs> for you guys to pick up. Yeah, it's just, it's beautiful. It lasts a long time too, so. All right, you guys, I think that that is it. I'm making sure. So yes, you guys, that's gonna be it. That's gonna conclude my video for today, my monthly favorites. And uh, yeah, I just hope that you liked this video and hopefully it gives you some kind of input on how products are by me explaining and swatching. But um, yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Don't forget to push the bell so you'll be notified for future videos just like this one. I love you guys. I will see you on the next one. Bye.